What's up, everyone? Um, it's end of uh, November, and uh, I've decided to finally get to work on disassembly. Thanksgiving was last week, so I kind of just stepped away from from everything for a bit. I did the original video just explaining what I'm gonna kind of go through here, but I thought it'd be fun to do a video of how long it takes to actually take this thing apart, down to you know obviously the, obviously leaving the suspension, the engine, and all the electrical connected, but Taking off, you know, the sissy bar, the fender, the passenger seat, the driver's seat, side covers just clip off, the gas tank, all of the, the fuel lines and the electricals for the fuel pump, um, the handlebars, pulling all the internal wiring out of the handlebars um, to get the handlebars off to have them painted, and then moving to the front forks to, you know, take the front tire off, drop the front fork tubes to get those sleeves off to have those painted. So I just thought it'd be interesting to see how long that would take, and I'll do like a time lapse where I'll kind of uh, time out each section on my watch just to kind of get an idea. And it's probably good information to know down down the road. You know, if, I, if I'm in a pinch and I've got to do something quick, you know, I'll have an idea of, of how long it takes just to take one section apart. But then once I get all the updates and the modifications done, I figure I'll record individual videos for those sections and the install process. So. Trying to be a little bit more organized with the videos and the series, and um, yeah, we'll see how it goes. So, rock on! I'm gonna get to it. Sissy bar off, and uh, you can see I took it to the noggin when the last bolt let loose. So I'm about 18 minutes in, a couple nice good morning texts. Uh, I went to um, a Christmas tree lighting over the weekend and uh, it's a rainy morning here, but uh, I got a text that uh, it's, the, the tree still looks awesome in our local town, even on a rainy Monday morning. Um, so figure a couple minutes for that, uh, just getting the tools and everything out. So I'm about 18 minutes in. At this point, I'm going to disconnect the battery because uh, I'm going to be taking the seat off and under the seat is the charging port and then I've got the toggle switches on the frame for the LED light bar and then to power the charging port on and off. So now's a good time to disconnect the battery. Most people would say, and they're right, to disconnect the battery from the get-go because I was you know, dealing with some blinkers in the back here, but I've done this enough times that I knew that wasn't really a risk. But to be safe, uh, always disconnect your battery first. So I'll disconnect the battery, take the seat off, and we'll see. That'll be the rear to mid section done. So moving along, moving along pretty quick. Battery's out. If you haven't made the switch to lithium ion, uh, can't recommend it enough. Take it up. So, Anyway, um, this is the seat setup for anyone that's curious. I never really did a video on it, but if you want to know more about it, but there's the phone charger that comes through the bottom of it, and you can see the plug is right in here. Gas tank's off in 42 minutes. So that was about 15, 14, 15 minutes to get the tank off, disconnect the fuel lines, disconnect the uh, electrical for the fuel pump. Oh, one thing I did do is I pulled my, I gotta get used to this camera, I pulled my toggle switches out and the wiring. So this is wiring went up to the, from about back here, which is where it mounted to the front where the LED light bar is. But because I'm changing my whole seat setup my charger for the phones and the devices was right under my seat pan. So that's this switch, and that's how much shorter the wiring is. Well, I'm putting the new charger somewhere up on the front of the bike, so I'm gonna to need to run another wire like this. Rather than kind of extending these, I'm gonna pull everything off the switches. I might even buy new switches, um, resolder everything, have everything nice and cleaned up. Um,
All right, so <laughs> I'm using a, a pretty heavy duty impact driver to try and get this last bolt out. I found one more T25 torque, so I figured I'd get the rest of them out in case I break the bit again. Alright, so I tried it with the socket wrench, T25 in. It literally is twisting these T25s to the point where they break. I mean, plus side is, Loctite's doing its job. Um, especially with these bikes vibrate, that vibrate so much, but my only option now is to drill this out with the drill bit to keep going, and then uh, grab it with a pair of pliers, twist out the stud, and just buy a new bolt. So. Got him. Got it. I had to tap it to the, the, the front out, but this counts as uh, the taking apart phase or deconstruction phase because you can't put it back together if you don't take it apart correctly. So, so far the only roadblock, but it cost me a couple bucks, but at least it's done. These little brass fittings go on the end of the throttle and the, the throttle cables. I always take them off the cables and put them in a plastic bag because they're bound to drop at some point. All right, everyone. So I lost battery power, but to be efficient, I kept go. I kept going, and. Uh, my handy dandy watch here and uh, I'm two hours and 20 minutes in <laughs> but all jokes aside uh, two hours and 20 minutes I had a major hiccup with the one screw on the uh, front brake handlebar mount so I would say I lost probably easily 20 minutes there um, let's say another 15 20 minutes just kind of I'm Grateful for the setup that I've got, but it's certainly not ideal. I've got tools on the floor. I'm bending over, picking things up. I don't really have any benches to put stuff on. So if I think I, if I had a more optimized workflow, I would have definitely saved another 15 or 20 minutes. Um, not that it's a race, but it's a good example of the more you get familiar with your bike, the quicker you can get things done. Um, and, and you can get, you know, look at this now. Gas tanks off. Front forks are dropped, front tires off, rear fender, driver's seat, battery, gas tank, all the handlebars, all the internal wiring for the handlebars. So I had to pull all that wiring out of the handlebars. All that's off in two hours and 20 minutes, including you know the delays and all that. So that's it, I'm gonna wrap it up. I'll uh, do a quick walkthrough um, just to kind of show you what the bike looks like with everything off. But now it's parts to paint, some electrical soldering with the wires for the, the switches. And warm weather. Rock on. See you soon. And this is just a, a mess up here. Let's see. Sorry, the lighting's not too great, but let me get my flashlight. Trees are off. Front tires off. Flying harness. Yeah. All right. That's all she wrote. Until next time.